Hey everybody, welcome back to Habitat Kitchen. I'm Andrew Beauchamp and today we're gonna whip up another brand new recipe of chocolate chip tahini cookies. I got this recipe from the Food Network. So let's test it out, see if it's any good. Let's dive right in guys. There's an ingredient that I've never used in this recipe and that is coconut sugar. I've never used coconut sugar. I'm very excited to see how it acts in the recipe, how much sweetness it brings and the texture that it's gonna give to our cookies. The first thing we're gonna do is add our coconut sugar into our bowl. To that, we're gonna add our other base, which is the main flavoring in these cookies, which is tahini. Tahini is just ground up sesame seeds. It's also known as sesame seed butter. You get all that deliciousness in there. And we're gonna mix the sugar and tahini together. Now to this mixture, we're just gonna add one egg. I always like to crack my egg into a bowl first, just in case you get any shell in there. Perfect. Right in. Let's mix this in. That's interesting, the egg just made this instantly go thick. That was really cool. Like it, it went from a really loose batter, once I put this egg in, the batter just seized right up. That must be the tahini. Now it's time for the vanilla. Good vanilla, pure vanilla. One, two, along with our baking soda right in there. And mix that together. Now for the best part of this recipe, chocolate. This recipe calls for 100 grams of chocolate. So I just have some baking chocolate that I'm gonna cut up and I like to use whole pieces of chocolate so then I can cut it up. So they create little slivers of chocolate that then get mixed into the batter and it is delicious. Just chop this up into chunks out pieces. Chocolate right into our batter. Get all those little shavings, all the chocolate dust right in there. And mix till combined. We're gonna scoop these onto our tray using a tablespoon. And you're not going to push them flat, we're gonna leave them in little round balls. And then we're gonna to top them with just a little bit of coarse sea salt. So one tablespoon, I'm just gonna take it, roll it into a ball. Like so put them down. It's one thing I'm noticing about this recipe, there's a lot of oil in this bowl. My hands are very oily. And it says to space them about three inches apart, so they're gonna spread a lot. I'm not gonna judge this just yet because hey, you never know, maybe they're gonna be the best thing I've ever eaten. That's all right, the chocolate will save the day. Chocolate saves everything. The chocolate's good in anything. Do, 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 do. That's right, Emily. <laughs> chocolate's good in anything. <laughs> you wanna do a little cameo shot there? <laughs> yeah. See how you say hi, hello to everybody? Oh my god. Now, I don't wanna put the, any more on this tray because I'm afraid they're gonna spread out and touch each other. So I'm gonna wash my hands and then I'm gonna come back to sprinkle the sea salt. I got some coarse sea salt here. It's actually one of my favorite sea salts to use. And I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit on each cookie. This should give it like a little bit of a crunch along with some good flavor. I'm gonna put these in the oven for about 12 minutes until they're done. So fingers crossed guys, let's put them in the oven. <laughs> Little bit of a trick. I'm not sure if it was something I did or if it's the recipe, but to make these cookies look good, I just have a round cookie cutter here. I'm just going to cut off those crispy ends and twist them because now we have a cookie that looks normal. I'm just gonna store these in my cookie jar. So I'm just gonna stack them all in here. Got them all in the cookie jar, but now it's actually time to take one out 
and eat it. So first up, they are slightly soft, a nice crispy edge, which I like. Remember I break it, that looks beautiful. Smell very nutty, but with all the tahini, it's kind of an obvious. Let's give it a bite. These are very pleasant. Wow. The texture is great. It's kind of crumbly, nice and chewy. But these are a success to me. I think these are great. And especially for getting this many cookies and only adding a half a cup of sugar, I'm very happy. So that makes them low sugar and gluten free. And the dark chocolate adds a great pop of flavor along with that nuttiness. Obviously, nuttiness and chocolate go fabulous together. And then you get a little bit of crunch from the sea salt, the flaky sea salt on top. These are great. Thank you guys for watching. I think this recipe was a complete success. These cookies are very good. And they're also really nutty, which I really like. Don't forget to like and subscribe, share this video with your friends, and don't forget to come back next week. Till next time, guys. Stay hungry.